Hello boy yo, it's Rich Boy J here back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. This is set number 75372 and is due to release on January 1st of 2024. I picked this set up at Walmart early in the US. They seem to be pretty easy to find there right now. Unsurprisingly, the minifigures are the big appeal of this set. We get four total Clone Troopers. Making their first appearance in nearly 10 years, we have three of the updated plain white Phase 1 clones and they look fantastic. Getting three of them right out of the box is just so fulfilling. We also get the second appearance of the Shock Trooper, which is awesome considering up until now, you had to buy the $140 Republic gunship set in order to get them. On the droid side of things, we get a couple of standard B1 battle droids and finally making the return after a 10 year hiatus, we get three brand new updated super battle droids. The most noticeable detail change on the B2 is the inclusion of the eye on the chest. Other than that, it just feels like a higher quality mold than the older one. Like if the old one was standard definition, then this one is an HD. For the $30 price point, this set feels surprisingly substantial. You obviously get a plethora of minifigures, but there's also four builds that help fill the set out. As an homage to the original clone battle pack, we have an updated gunner turret with a stud shooter gun. It's a pretty simple build, but I think the use of those angled riot shield pieces for the sides is pretty clever. Keeping in line with the original clone battle pack, we also get a non-canonical clone speeder bike that can accommodate two clone troopers. This is probably my least favorite of the builds in this set. It just looks really outdated. I get that it's supposed to be a tribute to that original speeder from 2008, but it doesn't feel like a substantial enough update to be from this modern era of LEGO Star Wars. The two guns on the back of the speeder can be removed and given to two of the clones so that everyone can have a weapon. It's like America. The droid builds are my favorite in this set. The staff has a simple yet effective design. I love staffs in LEGO because they're small cheap builds that bring such a unique dynamic to the battlefield, allowing for some pretty fun play scenarios. The Octoptara Tri-Droid is the most significant build in this set, and I love it. The design is very nice, and they've even armed it with some flick-fired missiles to deal damage to the clones. I guess I also should mention that you do get a little cargo crate that can hold a thermal detonator. I have to admit, I absolutely adore this set. From the Army Builder perspective, this set is a home run. You'd want to have large amounts of every single figure in this set. It feels weird to say, but this feels like the first battle pack that LEGO has released that is actually worthy of the name Battle Pack. Most battle packs only give you one side of the battle, and the ones that do split it between two factions usually don't feel substantial enough to be called a battle. This set is different though. Right out of the box, you get enough elements to set up what feels like a proper battle, and both sides feel properly balanced with the amount of troops and vehicles that they're given. At an affordable price of just 30 US dollars, this set is a no-brainer, and it sets an exciting precedent moving forward for the future of LEGO Star Wars. I don't expect it to be cost-effective for LEGO to do battle packs like this moving forward, split between two factions, including nine actual minifigures, but even if they were to do something like this with just six, or maybe even seven total figures in the future, that would still feel like a win. The LEGO group takes a lot of heat from Star Wars fans, a lot of the time undeservingly so, so I find it really necessary to show appreciation when they give us something truly special. So to end this review, I'd just like to say thank you LEGO, you really knocked this one out of the park.